Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel. Uh, welcome back and hello if you're new. This week I'm going to be delving into Scotland's finest with Bleed From Within on ERA. We need access. We need so, the first thing I can tell you about this record is that the band are seriously, seriously tight. I know that they've had their own brand of metalcore in the past, but I feel that with ERA, things have really kind of upped the ante. This sense of kind of real attack that they've got locked in, this same sort of level of technicality and tightness is in Alone in the Sun, which reminds me of um, Winston McCall being in a tech band. Elements in Afterlife are really interesting in terms of how the riffs are put together, because you've got some really, really tight riffs at the beginning of the track. As the song grows, it kind of builds this sort of atmosphere, which is where Bleed From Within's main strengths, which is those massive choruses, kind of come through, uh, which I thought was really, really interesting, and reminded me a lot of While She Sleeps. Same examples on Clarity, where there are some interesting riffs which come in, and then this massive chorus as well. But one thing I really liked about the record is the overall dynamics. So, for example, I'll, I'll kind of dissect Alive. First of all, you've got the main riff. Then you've got the kind of bendy lead. Then you've got the guitars doing this quick tremolo style tapping kind of thing. And it's really interesting to see just how much is actually going on in one of these choruses, alongside the grooves and the drums. Despite, you know, having quite clean and polished production, there's still that element of grit which remains behind it, which is perfect for a Scottish band. And again, you know, mentioning these, these massive choruses, uh, Shiver was one that kind of took me by surprise. It's got what I've described as almost a Halloween sort of style riff, that sort of slightly unresolved edge to it. How the album sounds is fantastic. For example, on Cast Down, the bass grooves really cut through the mix, but I think one of the biggest improvements is that the drums, you can hear those cymbals, just how crisp they sound. There was a real attention to the guitar tones, particularly I found in Clarity. Yeah, in terms of how the riffs were put together and sometimes how the fluidity of it, it reminded me a lot of Silosis, but that's a fantastic thing. I think the songwriting on the record is, is really, really incredible. There weren't really a lot of negatives, which is interesting. Given this kind of music, you could get bored, um, but throughout ERA, Bleed From Within have kind of maintained quite a lot of interest, um, and also I think cemented their sound, which is a, which is a big deal. So uh, not really a ton of negatives, really. In terms of the artwork, I think it's something different from the usual metalcore sort of thing. I think it gives off this darker vibe that the band are going for. And again, that grit that I've mentioned previously. Uh, given the lyrical stance of the album, I think that it's quite, um, it's quite a revolutionary sort of feel to it. And this, you know, it's similar to Uprising, their previous record. So the thing to take away from this is that Bleed From Within's brand new album has got some massive choruses, some incredible riffs, and some absolutely fantastic use of songwriting. And I think it's a, a fantastic testament to the British metalcore scene as well. And I think it's high time that these boys came back. So for that reason I'm going to give this record a 4 out of 5. Um, I would definitely recommend listening to Clarity, Crown of Misery, Afterlife. Bleed From Within's brand new album, ERA, is out April 6th via Century Media, and you can pre-order it in the link below. So, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Keep chatting away in those comments, and I'll see you guys next week for Metal Sucks' apocalyptic anniversaries. Peace.